Well, the leadership of the Ghana National Association of uh, Teachers has assured that all teachers will receive their laptops as promised by government. The one teacher, one laptop policy suggested by the previous administration of NAP is being championed by government to ensure all teachers own laptops to enhance ICT literacy in schools. General Secretary of NAT, Thomas Musa, during a tour of the Volta and OT regions, detailed that the distribution of laptops to teachers in junior high schools has begun nationwide following the completion of distribution in senior high schools. The national delegate conference that was held between the 2nd and 7th of January 2022 at the KNUST elected five national officers. They are here as a Chairman rightly put it, one, to thank you for the confidence you put in them, and also to familiarize themselves, at least traveling to where some of us are working, so when they are there and they are taking decisions, they'll be mindful. Then the most important thing is that they also want to listen to you. We have heads of department, the Deputy General Secretaries, everybody is here. All the questions that you have, you can ask them. For One of the questions from NAT members at the six meetings during a week tour was related to the one laptop, one teacher policy. Responding to the teachers, the General Secretary Thomas Musa had this to say. The leadership promised to negotiate for befitting salaries while implementing policies to enhance the livelihood of members. With the current economic hardship and any proposal from NAT, yes, we have proposed a cost of living allowance, we call it COLA. Uh, we are pushing it. You know, we have a salary adjustment for this year already. So what can be done to, to push in us? It's only cola. So we are pushing for that. Silence of national executive on the current economic hardship. The country is experienced. Leaders must speak up for increment. National executives are not silent on this at all. Like I said, we have submitted a proposal and we are making plans to give you a, a good deal this year. Some of the districts, including Ho and Hohe, requested funding to complete their district office projects. We want to recognize our regional chairman, Mr. David Carter, for helping us get the opportunity to be the first district selected in the Volta region to get a prototype secretariat. We are not complete yet with the building, and so we are appealing to leadership that they should help us complete the building as soon as possible. The executives also extended support to two alien members, Joyce Lena Tikbo, who was stationed at the Kwanle Hose Basic School, and Janet Adi from the Jasakain District. The NAT national executives visited the land procured by the Kwando District to construct a district office and other facilities. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News.